Okay, so um, I've done VOD reviews before. Uh, I've done uh, analytical things with uh, League of Legends. I felt like they were pretty good, pretty useful, pretty helpful. Uh, even if it was coming from my uh, like ninety percent talent uh, information mind, because I I I was I'm ass at the game, even though I am a, a relatively good at League of Legends, some might consider. But I feel like. Uh, my input compared to a professional's input is nowhere close, right? So when I do analyze your game, uh, I'm not going to be analyzing like like I'm not going to just assume your mindset. I'm also going to uh, tell you what would be the correct option and kind of make you see things that maybe you weren't seeing more so than like this is the correct answer, this is that answer. Maybe try instead of I'm more I'm more so as try this, try that. Look at look at it from this way because most of my input is it going to be correct most of what i'm going to tell you is 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 is, is probably right for the wrong reasons maybe um and this isn't to say that 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 there isn't no truth to what i'm saying it's just take it with a grain of salt and you're the falco main and you probably should know the falco chic matchup more than i do um i'm gonna try it try it two ways uh i'm gonna i watch one vod and i'm gonna i'm gonna review another vod without watching it and see how it works if one's better than the other and yeah so this is my first time kind of reviewing a melee bot and yeah so but i watched on um, 61 over 60 and then i read what you said so i'm just gonna kind of do it in this weird order but it should be fine okay oh and uh, i guess I'll, I'll kind of start by saying like uh from when we're watching the second one uh you said you were going ham uh, it seemed like you were like like it's very reminiscent of how you would play the fox matchup, but I feel like when you're versing Sheik, um, as a fox, I mean, you need to use a lot more up tilt and a lot more down tilt. Uh, it's it's just really important. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so when he power shielded you there, I feel like that kind of took you by surprise. And I think whenever you get power shielded and the laser hits you back, you need to reposition on the map state. Um, I guess because he could have punished you really fucking hard there because you were stuck in your movement. Uh, so like and like like when that happens, like neutral's fucked for you at this point, right? And you need to reposition and reset neutral. That was good. He di'd his shield, so he gonna get you there. Hmm. So a lot of time with Sheik, uh, I've seen you do this a couple times in the other video. Um, you you di in the first move. That's a really horrible habit. Uh, everybody does that. Even I do it, even though I know I shouldn't, just because it's just it's just natural, like right. Like if you're if you're like on the brisk of dying, especially against Sheik, that can just gimp you. You want to get on stage. You want to di that way. You want to go on the other side. But it, it's kind of like how you would di against like Marth. It, uh, you gotta you gotta di with the hit some most times. And something that I realized, like her her down smash, her 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 down tilt, her forward tilt, um, you, all like most most of her setups, you have to di away, mostly all of them. So that like if you keep that in mind, like organize it that way, it, it'll be a lot easier. I feel to to know the correct di option. Yeah, uh, that, that was just um unfortunate. And like again, right um. This time he knew he was gonna. So this time I feel like he knew he was gonna power shield your laser, right? And and and, and instead of like jumping and trying to punish you, because you were a lot of times if you if your laser gets like compromised somehow, not power shielded necessarily, but compromised, you you jump. But if you if the laser hits you back, you kind of stay grounded and you kind of get stuck in your movement. So he he, he stayed grounded and chased you up this the 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 platform. I'm pretty sure. And and I feel like you, you should have probably retrieved the ledge and then came back with like uh, invincibility and try to make something happen there. Even though you would be at disadvantage, it wouldn't be as big of a of, as big as a disadvantage as you are up up here on top of the stage. Uh, wait, what? Wait, four, two, seven, five. Yeah, it's good. So 
So what what did you expect right here? Because honestly, I thought he would like he'll like go to the ledge or anything. I never see Sheiks do that. But he just did. And even if he were where to go on the stage, you, you could probably lab this. Like, do you have time for me to get from ledge to up here to punish? Or if he is right here, can he even grab the ledge, right? And, and if not, then you can just wait wait right here and just punish whatever instead of giving him the reset and, and, and resetting your neutral from, from him being off stage recovering. And was he even going to grab the ledge at that altitude, right? Um, all, all things to consider. That's good. He should be dead here. Oh no. So a lot of time with Sheik though, like, like her recovery, you have a lot of um, time to think about what you want to do, right? So you could um, stall on ledge, and then and then especially if she would to recover here, and then right, and she's here, she would have to drop, and then and then and then recover from her her uppy, and then act out of it, right? So I think all the all these times you could just just like hold ledge and stall it and then you see what oh she's right here she's gonna fall and then obviously you, you just dare or bounce she'll bounce up and then back air her or maybe turn around if she di's away and then dare her again or if she goes this way then then nair her, then 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 nair her right uh, there's a lot of uh, like at that point it's very easy instead of just like doing this and then kind of resetting back to. Oh, she's kind of has center stage and falling down from the sky. Like this, she has that she's at a disadvantage, but she should be dead, right? Okay. Ooh, you should have been dead there. Ooh. Yeah, she choked it. That that, that was high percent nerves right there. That was good. That was a good. That was quick, man. That was nice. Like, oh, dude, you should do that shit more often. Okay, let's do that again. So you go, so you, you got ledge, right? And then, yeah, so um, the thing about giving credit, right? That's a good concept. I don't know if we talked about this before, but but from what I'm seeing, this person doesn't know how to fucking punish what you just did, right? Like, look, 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 she's still, she's still like, like stuck, stuck in the past, still like stuck two, three seconds in the past. Um, so uh, you should. Th that's good, right? So let's say if, if you were to get like eat a laser, right? A laser compromise or whatever, or or you need to reset on the neutral state, you can just grab ledge and reset that way until until they they, they show a way to punish you. And 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 if they do end up doing that preemptively or trying testing it out like mid match, you could just get back on stage and there and then you have advantage because they're above you, right? Uh, that's super sick because they don't that puts them in a very uh, uncomfortable position for them to be in. Yeah, do that more against that person until until they 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 um you know. Adjust to it. Good. Hmm. What happened here? This should have happened. I think yeah, yeah, high percent nerves is what happened. Oh, I I saw what happened. Yeah. So this this snare shouldn't have killed you, and you should have tech the platform, and you were trying to roll away, right? I think that's what happened. Hmm. Maybe if you okay, so I'm not sure how that that hitbox would have worked because it hit you in such a weird spot. But I I think you you I think you try to you seen you seen her going for the late hit, so you try to di it away, like the the opposite direction. But I think what ended up happening is is her the hit the hitbox on her dash is always the same probably I don't know, and so you probably should di it this way or or maybe just up. Oh, I don't know. Like, like figure out what to do here in this situation, because I feel like this is gonna happen like, like three times every game. You, like, I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't have died there. It wasn't high percent nerves. It was just, un like, like we're un an unfamiliar situation. That's what that was. Okay. I feel like you should have gotten more off that, or should you? Oh uh, no, she, she she just had really good DI. That was just what that was. And then you try to follow up, follow up good DI with some more pressure. Maybe you should have reset the neutral or kind of uh, pressured from the, the middle, like from a good range. Okay, pressure, yes. Hmm. 
Maybe try to just grab on shield. Like I think grabbing Sheik a lot is underrated. It's not the best option, but it's a it's an option that doesn't put you in a bad situation. Uh mm, okay. That's that's always a rough one when you're on the platform there. Ooh, I don't know. Which, wait, wait, I feel like you missed. I don't know what you wanted to do here. Maybe like a like a short end would have been good there. Or you know what would have been really good? I feel like um when when like back here when she was stuck in three seconds in the past, um uh, you you probably could have I right hear a phantasm, shorten it right, and this wouldn't hit you, and then and then she'll like kind of back up a lot trying to cover your your phantasm, and then you can just grab ledge. And you still would be at a disadvantage because you are at ledge, but you would have ledge, and you could like kind of do this, do this, do the thing again, uh, right? To leave them five, three seconds in the past, or or uh, fake it out, or you, you have more options than than like throwing out an aerial this way. Or ra rather, if, if if it meant to be Dara, and you probably would have lived, right? And you, you don't you don't want to be below, right below um, ledge, right? So. Ooh, that's a good idea, but bad execution. Okay. Okay. Uh, you should you should win these games. There's no reason why you shouldn't. It's just you gotta. The thing is, is if this if this Sheik was the same skill but Fox or Falco, you would have won, right? Everybody at MIT fucking sucks ass if they're if this is your competition. All right. Yeah, I think. Did you give up here? Is this what happened? So a lot of times when you're against like an unfamiliar matchup or like fucking chic, and you're like down like this, especially when you get put in a bad position, like okay, now now you're just getting chased, right? And it's like, oh fuck. And like right here, you probably give up right here. Yep. Seen that for her. I'm assuming uh, again, like I said, I was gonna assume a lot of your mindset and like what you're thinking. So, yeah, let's just watch the second one. This one I watched before, so I'm a little bit educated on this one. Actually, let's sum up on this one. Um, I f it feels like this person that was feeling you out in the beginning and gave you more credit, and then towards the end realized that um don't know the matchup that well, you don't know how to di that well, and and punished you a lot because they, they took away some of the credit and was more aggressive towards the end, right? But there are, there are a lot of things that that this person doesn't um, understand about the Falco matchup, and, and that you, that you did exploit, like one or twice, but you should do it more heavily. And uh, hopefully, this video gives you a couple more uh, highlights and ideas about that. Okay, uh, I don't know. I feel like I pretty much covered everything while reviewing it. Um, if there's any questions about this individual game, let me know. Okay, this one. So yeah, this one was interesting. Yeah, you definitely could have beaten him here. Um, uh, when I because watching that one, I was like, okay, well, you don't understand the matchup. He he got you good there. Uh, he he deserves to win this best of whatever. Um, but when I'm watching this one, I was like, uh, you played it pretty well. Uh, you kind of you kind of was in a different ment mentality. You 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 turn you turn a different mentality um uh, into this one. You you uh really how should I say this? Like you reorganize your mind and and, and 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 it feels like you told yourself to stick with with but not with what you know but like kind of stick to a certain type of style right which is just like fucking in the space aggressive um make 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 something happen like punish him uh just just uh be on top right and but like i feel like that's that i feel like you went to like like bursting fox mode and that was like your downfall in the end but there's also a couple of little interesting things that happened in this game as well that i want to talk about so let's watch it So cute, what a cutie. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so you just fucking walk up to him, right? It's like if it's Fox, you just you just you just uh short hop near at near at him or dare at him, laser, short hop laser there, fucking shine, pressure, pressure, fuck up the pressure, get comboed a little bit, but get back right into it after you get comboed a little bit. Okay, right here, right here. This this is some shit that should never ever happen, okay? Like never. So you should you should never be, be brought straight up from from a from a from a down smash or up smash, down up smash from Sheik. Okay, never. You should 
have um you should always di that shit always that should never happen but if you do end up in this position um like you know like you you need to get out of this i don't know what how you were denying or if this sheik was mixing up the hit the hitboxes because i don't i don't know how the sheik hitboxes work like that should never happen and 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 the, holy fuck dude i don't know if i think this person thought you were going to di away right because you've been doing that a lot and did the weak back hit but you di'd in which which is something that that fucked up your di because you thought that she was probably going to ferry you right which is why you why you di'd in like that but then this weak hit would have like if, if the sheik knew like if you guys were, were both like 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 uh were more predictable in this scenario the sheik would have fucking just like got another up air and then and then uh ferried you and you would have been dead and that would have been fucking nasty and then yeah he got the, the good hit on you he didn't you didn't see the the hit coming out cdi bad that was weird so that was that 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 was just unfamiliarity with the matchup and and how the combo should never have happened that's good grab ledge uh see now that's just sloppy right when I, when I saw this i was thinking you just need to um like was just 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 secure the kill right there's a problem that i have a lot is securing the kill um you don't really have this problem but it's it's prevalent in this matchup or against this person uh you need to secure the kill it, that should have been a stock gone and you should have been on to the next stock uh, and and now everything else that transpires is just it's just feels bad all around feels bad everywhere feels bad to watch feels feels bad if, if if playing it it feels bad like every hit they get on you it, it really hits you like mentally and like, it really fatigues you that way so so like that should have been a kill like like right here this is where, where you would fire stall like fire stall if you fire like right here you use fire stall like once grab ledge again and then you have invincibility like oh now they're up here or they didn't grab ledge and you you would it would be 100 percent every time okay oh no Ooh, that was a good air dodge that was a sick air dodge <laughs> okay mm, awkward percent now oh okay get the fuck out of here man all right okay oh yeah right here right here um when i saw this it's immediately what i thought something that'd be really interesting to consider uh something i i don't think you ever really thought about something that i never thought about until watching it from your perspective um when you get the shine here right if it's fox you would you would shine shine and then shine them up on the top platform and then combo them there right but this is chic and chic when you when chic's when you're above chic no when chic's above you you are at a at a at a severe advantage right the chic is at a is at a disadvantage Chic never wants to be uh um uh above you right especially if you're a spacey so i was thinking maybe you could reset into a neutral state and let her get back on on, on right here you, you just you just wait on the ground and instead of trying to carry it up carry her up you just let her you let her tech on the top platform and then you can just fucking punish her right and, and imagine if you just waited and then you in and, and then you've seen her roll you, then that would be a confirmed shine or imagine if, if, if she teched or you could like back her or you could like back her back air or you or you or anything you could have dared her land on platform she would have bounced it a little bit and then uh combo her from there right uh like like this is, i feel like you get a lot more by by waiting by by, by taking her up to the top platform and and not only that um like like this just you could look at it from like a mental fatigue point of view you're waiting patiently and they have to make so many decisions and have to anticipate all your movements and and and, and di and and, and they're they're all they're, they're being pressured but without you doing anything right that's that's cool as fuck um uh, yeah just something to think about uh, i don't know if it's practical i don't know if you could get up there in time because i know fox can i don't know if you can Right, but uh, I feel like I feel like that's definitely a, something to think about, something that that you haven't thought about, something that you don't do, especially against like a matchup like this. Maybe you could even do that against Marth too. Ooh, nice, nice. You have momentum right now. Ooh, ooh, yes. 
Oh no. Okay. Um. Again. Uh. Right. But uh, I was thinking when I when I brought up on the first time, a little bit in the second video, um, was DIing Sheik's moves, just DI away, like all their moves, all their setups. You just need to DI away. Like if you DI away there, DI away there, you would have been fine. DI away there, there. And right here, you come back. Oh, I, I'll be like next talk probably. You got back now. It's good. Good choice. Ooh, grab ledge. Oh, okay. That's that's even better. Yeah, you're a Falco. I'm I'm a fox man. Ooh. Hey, what happened here? How'd you get hit here? Ah, uh, you just you ran to you ran to the Vince, the sheep with invincibility. Why would you ever do that? Oh um, man, dude. Like he, like look look at the posture that Sheik's taking. Sheik knew what you were gonna do. Like this 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 wasn't like the fox sheep matchup optimal thing to do. This was. This person versus you, optimal thing to do against you, as right? <laughs> That's what that was. Oh man. Um, yeah, maybe you had high percent nerves. I don't know what you were thinking. Just go to the ledge, fucking leave them three seconds in the past if they can't punish it. If not, then like stall it out. Like, like if, if you don't feel confident and, and you're neutral versus their invincibility, just just go to the ledge, man. It's a safe place for, for you as a spacey versus anyone else that's not a spacey. You know, that's, that should never happen. Okay. Yeah, you should. I don't know. Uh, you got stuck in your movement here. Now it's back to neutral again. Ooh, uh oh. You shouldn't have forward laser. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you knew right there. You shouldn't have forward laser. Um, I feel like a lot of times when things get reset to neutral so quickly, they're um. Uh, why would the sheik ever want you to set up shop again, right? Like why would Sheik ever want want you to to be in a position to laser? Uh, I think this player um isn't gonna try to power shield any more lasers because they're just at that mental fatigue point and 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 it's close it's close and the ner the, the the tensions are high and and why why would they try to risk something doing something that's so uh precise so so just stop it at the source right? I'm gonna approach I'm gonna I'm gonna control center stage I'm gonna do something I feel like that would be the mindset of a Sheik player when the neutral gets reset this quickly. I like right, and and what you what you could have done is you could have just like short hop lasered like you're not going platform and lasered like just in in place, and 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 imagine if you did that and the sheik was like like just kind of stayed like right here or right here, then 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 then, then you you stop the momentum from shifting and you would have kept it all, and I feel like if you I feel like that would have transitioned to a lot more, yeah. Uh oh, okay. Oh, 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 laser, do something, get away, get away, reset neutral, reset neutral, get away, oh, no, uh, yeah, see, um, understanding momentum, and when, when you need to reset neutral is really hard thing to do, but, and this, this, that whole sequence, you needed to stop, you, you were flustered, you weren't playing the matchup, you weren't playing Fox versus Falco. Uh, you weren't playing um, Falco versus Sheik. You're playing um, Falco versus Fox, right? That's what you were doing right now. Uh, you, like, 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 if you would watch like other Falco players versus Sheiks, like, like, like top top players, like they, this would like, they they would never jump that high for a dare. They would never um like be in this position. I uh, get back here. Like they would never do this dance with Sheik. Sheik, I feel like Sheik always wins this dance. Yeah, fuck, dude. Like, there were so many times where you could reposition and kind of just back up, just back up, and then, and then if the sheik would, would have kept on that same trajectory and that same uh, uh, tactic, like uh, the uh, the sheik would just ran into you, punish, and then and then the, and then her her whole like tactic would just would, would have to she have to reinforce it like mentally, I'd like, be like, okay, I need to double down on this tactic, or she'll be like, okay, I can't do that, I need to do something else. And 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 that and that puts you in a good, that puts you in the mentally, that puts you in, in the neutral, gives you the advantage, and. And they're, they're not, they have to be recovering, or you be comboing them while they're thinking that. Ooh, yeah, I didn't feel like they lived here. Ooh, so you're afraid. Maybe you could like like um um side bead, right? Like you just like like jump like get a little altitude to to, to meet ledge and side B. I don't think she was in a position to edge guard you that way. Yeah, yeah, you kind of just. 
like <laughs> you get into what I joke about, like Ultra Instinct mode, and then you just die. Okay, well, it seems like there's like there's a couple of things. It's not too much you're missing from the Sheik matchup. It seems like it's just uh, a lot of times, like something that that happens that confuses you, or something that something that you don't you're not too familiar with, and you just revert back to something that 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 you that you know something that 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 you feel that has some results instead of challenging that and then um reset reset neutral man like especially against sheiks or or, or people that like that like to on um, like like characters that will that that that, that need to tempo out on falco right mark needs to tempo out far on falco uh sheik needs to do that as well um if you're not like if you're not somebody that could like just be on top of falco constantly like box or i don't know some other character it's been a while since i played melee out the falcon i guess like you need to reset neutral you need to control tempo you need you need to stop them from doing a dance with you that you're that 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 you have a disadvantage in um i don't know it's pretty good man like uh i think i think you, you should definitely be able to beat this person if you just organize reorganize uh your priorities and I don't think they're gonna be power lasering all the time. I don't think they're gonna be punishing your recovery all the time if you do or like if you try to mix it up a little bit. I think when you do get them in the air, maybe wait for them to come down a little bit. Maybe maybe like stall it out because you because um a lot of times you, you, you when you would would go up to follow follow them, it's like you you do it the same time every time. You throw out the same hitbox every time, every time, all the time, and it gets pretty predictable. And a lot, a lot of the stocks you shouldn't have died that quickly on, it, or or the or the a lot of the combos shouldn't have uh, hit you like five times in the air. That should never have happened. Um, and the only times it happens against like the pros is when like Android hits Armada with like fucking weird asset boxes that Armada just just can't di against because it's just it comes out instantly and it's all weird as fuck and 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 our Android is his, his his brother and that's why he 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 lands them all right. Um. Yeah, I think yeah, I think those those are pretty much the 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 crux of this. Yeah, but uh, let me know if uh, there's anything I need to clarify on. Uh, maybe I stuttered or slurred my word that you don't understand. Um, for the most part, I think this was a really good uh, analysis. And uh, if you have any critique on my uh, uh, analytics as well, let me know. Uh, hope you learned something.